Want to know where to place your Google Analytics code? Well, in this video, we're going to explain whether you should place your Google Analytics code in the WordPress header or footer, and whether or not you'll need to hire a developer to do it for you. Be sure to check out the links we've left in the description, hit the subscribe button and notification bell, and be part of the conversation. Well, right up front, you should know that it's safe to put your Google Analytics code in the header or footer. However, Google recommends that you add the code to your WordPress header because the header scripts are loaded earlier than any other scripts on the page. And besides that, the tracking code loads on your site asynchronously, meaning that other scripts can continue loading and that won't reduce your page speed or impact your WordPress site's performance. Now, there are many ways to add Google Analytics code snippets to your WordPress site. First, you can use a plugin like Monster Insights to add the tracking code without editing or hiring a developer, or you can manually enter the code on your site. Now, we don't recommend that method since it requires going through your website's code. And if you make any mistakes while you're entering the code, well, it could have an adverse effect on your site's performance. Now, all that being said, let's look at both methods. By far, the easiest way to set up your Google Analytics on your WordPress site is by using the Monster Insights plugin. Monster Insights makes it easy to add the tracking code into your WordPress header without ever touching the code. All you have to do is install the plugin on your site, and Monster Insights takes care of the rest. Once the plugin is active, follow the setup wizard, and you'll have Google Analytics tracking code in your site's header in no time. And using a WordPress plugin to insert the analytics code, you won't have to remember to re-enter it if you decide to change your theme sometime in the future. Setup is super simple. We'll leave a link in the description, and you can follow our detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to add Google Analytics to your WordPress site properly. Now, after you've set up Google Analytics using Monster Insights, you'll see all your important stats right inside your WordPress admin area, so you won't ever have to leave your site. All right, now let's look at that second method. The second method is to add Google Analytics to your site's header without using a plugin. Now, keep in mind that this method is more difficult, so we don't recommend it for beginners because it can be tricky to add the code, and if you make any mistakes, well, you can mess up your tracking. First, you'll need to head over to your Google Analytics account and log in. Next, in the bottom left corner of the screen, click on Admin. Now, in the center column, click on Tracking Info. Then, click on Tracking Code. Now, you'll need to copy the code on this screen. All right, now just go over to your WordPress website. Once you've logged in, just go to your admin sidebar and click on Appearance, and then click on Theme Editor. Now on the right side of the screen under Theme Files, you'll need to locate and click on your theme header, PHP. Now in the center screen, you'll need to paste the Google Analytics tracking script that you copied right before the header tag, and then click the Update File button. And that's it. Now you've manually entered the tracking code to your header of your site. Now Google Analytics is going to start tracking your visitors and showing you reports so you can see how they're interacting with your site. Now we hope that you found this video helpful in answering the question as to whether to put your Google Analytics code in the WordPress header or footer. To get a special discount on Monster Insights, be sure to check out the link in the description and to learn more Monster Insights tips, tricks, and techniques, just click on one of the videos on your screen now.